Hi, if you are in tech, you would have probably heard about the terms DevOps and SRE thrown around a lot. I always used to wonder about the differences between these two and what exactly sets them apart, especially since they seem to use almost the same tools. Are they really the same thing or is there a difference? Today, I'm going to be- I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness if you- List of topics that we are going to cover in this video and by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what DevOps and SRE are, how they differ and where they overlap. Let's start. Okay, so let's start with DevOps. DevOps is a combination of development and operations. It's a set of practices aimed at automating and integrating the processes between software development and IT operations teams. So the main goal is to shorten the development lifecycle and to deliver high quality software continuously. Traditionally, developers and operations teams worked separately. Developers would write the code and then hand it off to the operations teams to deploy and maintain it. This actually often led to delays, miscommunication and a lot of frustration. And then DevOps came in as a cultural and technical movement to break all of these barriers. In DevOps, you'll often hear about continuous integration, CI, continuous delivery, CD, automation and monitoring. Now let's talk about Site Reliability Engineering or SRE. SRE was created by Google as a way to apply software engineering principles to the IT operations. And the focus here is on reliability and scalability. While DevOps is all about culture and collaboration, SRE is more like a specific implementation of that culture. SREs are often seen as the ones responsible for keeping the site or the service up and running even if it scales. SREs also write the code just like developers do but they are mostly focused on automation, monitoring and improving the system reliability. One of the key concepts in SRE is the service level objective or SLO. This is a target level of reliability that the system should meet like 99.9% .9 of time. If the system does not meet this target, SRE team might prioritize reliability improvements over the new features. So what exactly do DevOps and SRE engineers focus on? Let's break that down. DevOps engineers are focused on creating seamless and efficient pipeline for software development and deployment. Their primary goal is to accelerate the software delivery process while maintaining the high quality. They work closely with developers to automate the tasks, manage infrastructure as code, and ensure that everything is running smoothly from development to production. On the other hand, SRE engineers are intensely focused on reliability and scalability of the systems. Their goal is to ensure that software not only works, but it works well under any condition. They focus on keeping the system reliable, sometimes choosing stability over adding new features. SREs also spend a lot of time on incident response, root cause analysis and improving the system resilience. So how do DevOps and SRE differ? One way to think about it is DevOps is what and SRE is how. DevOps is the broad set of practices in culture while SRE is a specific approach to achieving those goals. For example, both DevOps and SRE care about automation, but SREs might write a custom tool or script to automate operational tasks, whereas DevOps engineers might focus on integrating existing tools into a seamless pipeline. Another key difference is in accountability. In DevOps, the responsibility for reliability is shared between development and operations. In SRE, there is a distinct focus on reliability, often with dedicated SRE teams who own that responsibility. Okay, in simpler terms, DevOps engineers work on making various automation tools work together smoothly, while SREs may create new tools or scripts depending on their specific needs to improve the system management and improve the reliability. Now I'm going to give some examples to illustrate how DevOps and SRE engineers use and create tools differently. We'll take two examples, CI-CD pipelines and infrastructure automation. Let's understand one by one. In CI-CD pipelines, we use the tools like Jenkins, GitLab CI and Circle CI. So a DevOps engineer might use Jenkins to automate the process of building, testing and deploying the code. They configure Jenkins pipeline to integrate with version control systems like GitHub and then automate the deployments to staging or production environments. They might also use Docker for containerization and Kubernetes for the orchestration, integrating these tools into the deployment pipeline. Talking about the second example, which is infrastructure automation, where we use the tools like Terraform and Ansible. Here, the DevOps engineer uses Terraform to manage cloud infrastructure by writing configuration files that describe the desired state of infrastructure. They integrate Terraform with other tools to automatically provision and manage servers, 
databases and networks. Ansible might be used for configuration management, automating the setup and maintenance of server configuration. Let's also understand some of the examples for SRE engineers. For monitoring, we use the tools like Prometheus, Grafana, custom scripts and all. So an SRE engineer might use Prometheus for collecting metrics and Grafana for visualizing them. However, if they need specific metrics that Prometheus does not natively support, they might also write custom scripts or tools to collect and process these metrics. For instance, they could develop a custom exporter to monitor a unique aspect of their application. Second example would be reliability and automation scripts where we use the tools like Python, Bash and custom scripts. So an SRE engineer might write custom scripts to automate the detection and mitigation of specific reliability issues. For example, if they need to automate the response to sudden spikes in traffic, they might write Python or Bash scripts that adjust load balancing configurations or scale resources in real time based on predefined rules. And one of the last examples would be incident management for which we use the tools like PagerDuty. So SRE engineer might use PagerDuty for incident management and on-call scheduling. If the default features of PagerDuty are not sufficient for their needs, they could develop additional integrations or tools to enhance their incident response process such as automated ticket creation or custom alerting workflows. Now let's talk about the tools and technologies that are commonly used in DevOps and SRE. These tools can be broadly categorized based on their purpose and you'll see that some of the tools are used in both the practices, but for slightly different reasons. In DevOps, popular tools includes Jenkins for continuous integration, Docker and Kubernetes for containerization and orchestration, Terraform for infrastructure as code and Prometheus and Grafana for monitoring. On the SRE side, you'll often see the same tools like Kubernetes and Prometheus, but SREs might also use tools like advanced alerting systems and more sophisticated automation scripts depending on their needs. The reason some tools and tasks are same in both DevOps and SRE is that they share common goals, which is automation, efficiency, and reliability. Both DevOps and SRE engineers need to monitor systems, automate processes, and ensure smooth deployments. So they naturally gravitate towards the same powerful tools. So the difference often lies in how exactly these tools are being used. For example, in DevOps, Terraform might be used to set up a scalable environment quickly. In SRE, the same tool might be used with a strong focus on ensuring that the infrastructure meets strict reliability standards with added automation for failover and disaster recovery. Let's get into what a typical day looks like for a DevOps engineer and an SRE. While there is some overlap, the focus and responsibilities can be quite different. A DevOps engineer's day often include tasks like writing and maintaining CI-CD pipelines, managing infrastructure as code, automating deployment process, monitoring and responding to system performance metrics, and collaborating with development teams to improve software delivery. DevOps engineers are like the glue that holds development and operations team together. They work closely with the development teams to ensure that the code is ready for production and that deployments are smooth and efficient. On the other hand, an SRE's day might involve writing and reviewing automation scripts for reliability, monitoring system health against SLOs, conducting incident response and root cause analysis, working on reliability focused projects like improving failover processes or optimizing load balancing. SREs are more focused on reliability and scalability. So while both roles involve a lot of automation and monitoring, DevOps is more about enabling faster delivery and collaboration, while SRE is about ensuring that whatever is delivered is scalable and reliable. To give a better idea of how DevOps and SRE work in real world, let's take a look at some of the case studies. Okay, so first is the case study of Netflix. Netflix is a great example of a company that has successfully implemented DevOps practices. With millions of users streaming content daily, Netflix needed a way to deploy new features quickly without affecting the user experience. By adopting a DevOps approach, Netflix automated its deployment pipeline, allowing for hundreds of deployments per day with minimal downtime. Netflix's use of DevOps has enabled them to innovate rapidly, push updates seamlessly, and maintain a high level of service availability. This has allowed them to stay ahead in the competitive streaming industry. Second is the case study of Google. So Google, the birthplace of SRE, has used this approach to maintain the reliability of its massive infrastructure. It supports products like Search, Gmail, and YouTube. 
Google's SRE teams are responsible for ensuring that these services remain highly available even as they scale to billions of users. These case studies show how DevOps and SREs can be implemented to meet the unique challenges of various different companies. And last but not the least, let's talk about compensation. Something we are all curious about, right? How do the salaries of DevOps engineers compare to those of SREs? On average, both roles are well compensated due to the high demand for skilled professionals in these fields. However, SREs often command slightly higher salaries as compared to the DevOps engineers. This is because SREs are expected to have strong software engineering skills in addition to their operations knowledge. And they often handle more complex and reliability focused projects. <sighs> and there you have it. I hope this video has clarified the differences and similarities between DevOps and SRE. Whether you are looking to go into any of these fields or just curious about the tech world, understanding these concepts can really help you grasp how modern tech teams operate and innovate. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more such content like this. If you have any questions or thoughts about DevOps and SRE, drop them in the comments below. I would love to hear them from you guys. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye. I know you